We always said we will eventually do co-op Platinums on the channel, and we finally found the time to do so with Resident Evil 5, the best-selling Resi game that was always my favourite back on PS3, because I'm too much of a wuss to play solo horror games, but I love them in co-op, like Dead Space 3 and Fear 3. I was a big dum-dum because Lewis's voice wasn't recorded, I didn't select a third audio channel in OBS, but we are playing co-op throughout and had such a laugh doing this, and this is our first Resi Platinum ever. There are 50 trophies to earn before the Platinum, a large sum of them are for completing each chapter. Then we have trophies for completing the game on various difficulties, including Professional Difficulty, which must be unlocked for completing the game on Better and First. There are loads of miscellaneous trophies too, such as deflecting an arrow with a knife, and the most notorious trophy, killing a Magini, aka Zombie, with a rare rotten egg. This took us essentially 4 playthroughs and took around 35 hours, including AFK time and mucking about. Before we jump in, as always, a huge thanks to the NC Collective. Your support means so much and keeps us grinding out those Platinums. The first trophy was just for completing the first chapter. We were doing a first run on Amateur to get the hang of the game and to collect as many emblems and treasures as possible. There are 30 emblems which are needed for a trophy and to unlock things which also give you trophies. The treasures are needed for the insane amount of cash you need to amass and also have their own trophy for collecting every type. Some being very unique and hard to get your hands on. But anyway, first level complete. The next trophy arrives shortly after. <laughs> we used a knife a lot to conserve ammo early on, and just to toy with Maginis to be honest. During Chapter 1-2 we both earned the A Cut Above trophy for knife kills. <laughs> trophy, A Cut Above! <laughs> Defeat 5 enemies with a knife! Nice! Alright, you get that next. You knife kill. <laughs> These are what the emblems look like, in case you haven't played this game already, they just need to be shot by one of us to be collected. And after this we got our first bit of proper firepower. Or well, I did. As I was recording I took all the weapons first, Lewis was going to have to buy them himself later unfortunately. And shortly after I received an explosive trophy. Ah, break free! Right, I'm going to throw it, I'm going to throw it. Boom! <laughs> Meat shower! <laughs> nice. Free Magini with one grenade or proximity bomb. With that, chapter 1 2 was over, and in the next chapter, we went for the Be the Knife trophy. Yeah, Be the Knife! You try, you try. <laughs> Deflect a poke and arrow with your knife. Yeah, nice dude. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, my eyes, ah, oh, my foot. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Looks so funny. <laughs> it's like, imagine him getting deodorant and spraying it in his eyes. <laughs> Lynx Africa. <laughs> we took down the driver of this truck before he could squash me, and then the game presented me with an easy opportunity for the baptism by fire trophy. <laughs> baptism by fire. <laughs> nice. Ah, oh, free Magini at once with a drum or gas tank explosion. We proceeded to defeat the big bad Chainsaw Magini and survive a quick time event with Magini motorcycle riders, which was just ridiculous. Then we grabbed the standard end of chapter trophy. During the next chapter, I racked up three trophies in a row from the chaos that ensued in these caves when we were ambushed by a gang of Magini. Let's get, let's get a few of them low and I'll flashbang. Ah, exploding heads, boom, and I had a shot his dynamite as well. Oh, behind you! There you go, fireworks, double. <laughs> uh oh. Let, I'm gonna. Uh, get over me! I'm gonna try and flashbang. Oh wow, that grenade just fucked me. <laughs> go into the light, I got it! <laughs> just got three, three trophies so close together. <laughs> Ah, now get out of here. After getting out of those caves, we had to take down a weird bat-bug hybrid boss, and with him down and tumbling off a cliff, we could reap our rewards. The next segment is pretty fun, gunning down motorcyclists with a Gatling gun, but there is a horrific boss fight at the end. There's a trophy during this mission for taking down the driver of one of the armored trucks, but we didn't have luck getting it this time. We took down the giant boss afterwards to end the chapter though. The next chapter, 3-1, was a really great chapter, zooming around the swamps on a hovercraft, with one of you driving and the other shooting. I had to deal with Lewis's terrible driving whilst I shot down the emblems, but it was funny watching him be eaten by crocodiles. We took down the new tougher enemies here and made our way through to the oil refinery. 
During this chapter, we had to face Chainsaw Maginis as if they were normal fodder, and we met up with Josh and had to protect him all the way to the escape boat. During the ruckus, I grabbed another trophy for stabbing a zombie in the face. Yeah, stab! Yeah, get physical trophy. Yeah. 20 enemies with physical attacks. The place was then blown to the high heavens and we sailed off after Irving. We also grabbed the next chapter related trophy. This bad fella, Irving, injected himself with the virus and becomes this huge leviathan monstrosity. We have some conveniently placed Gatling guns and rocket launchers on this ship which we can take him down with. Once he's gone for good, that's the next chapter completed. Next we're on chapter 4-1, The Caves, with plenty of puzzles and new horrors to fight. We also find out more about what's going on with Wesker and his assistant Excella. After heading deeper into this underground temple, we finish the level for our trophy. Delving deeper, we had to avoid giant laser beams that would completely incinerate us if we touched them on higher difficulties. Then we had to work our way through mirror puzzles and came across a rigged chest which let loose loads of spider enemies. This was a great opportunity for me to get a trophy out of the way for stun rod kills. Ah, cattle prod, I got it. <laughs> you get the rest. <laughs> but the enemies with the stun rod. What an easy place to get it. Then after completing more puzzles and trying not to burn Lewis with the lasers, we moved on to finish chapter 4-2. Chapter 5-1 next, a really fun and atmospheric mission in my opinion, introducing us to the liquor enemies which will become a great source for farming treasure later. Then we had to deal with a giant zombie spider crab on a huge elevator, great level. Once this crusty crustacean was handled, the chapter was wrapped up. Chapter 5-2 was intense, it had us traversing conveyor belts and avoiding infinite exploding gas canisters, we were introduced to crazy praying mantis type enemies that were tough to kill, and then we had to cross another conveyor belt with loads of zombies playing sleeping lions, a most obvious trap which led me to getting another trophy. Ah, oh, friend in need! I want another necklace. Ah. Friend in need. Say partner 10 times when help is displayed. Ah. Come on. <laughs> Come on! We then had to take down Uroboros with a flamethrower, but Lewis surprised me and whipped out an RPG to take it down instantly. Do you just want to shut it? <laughs> oh my god, no way. <laughs> wow, well that's chapter 5 too. Next was the boss fight against Wesker and Jill. This is the hardest fight on Professional by a mile. Wesker only entertains us for 7 minutes and after we are left to free Jill from her mind control. There are two trophies to get here, one being for damaging Wesker enough in those first 7 minutes and another for pulling the device off of Jill's chest whilst working as a team. And we failed both of these the first time around, but at least that chapter is done. Chapter complete. Next chapter and I was in for some jump scares right away. Oh. Fucking oh, scared the crap out of me. Dog jumped out. Yeah, that's right. Whoa. Then we took down dangerous enemies which were armed with rocket launchers and then carried on through this giant cargo ship until we had to face our next boss. This giant abomination was Excella. Let's just say she had been fired by Wesker. He no longer had use for her so injected her with Uroboros to see if she would survive it. This boss fight is quite fun. Just have one of you focus on the ads that spawn by your feet and you're all right. Chapter 6 2 down and now onto the final part of the game. We find ourselves having an epic fight in an aircraft against Wesker. I love these awesome fight scenes. Wesker is just a badass. This is just a quick time event sequence before the final fight. What could possibly go wrong? Save me! You fuck! <laughs> you missed it! Now we had to fight Wesker inside an active volcano and somehow we weren't instantly incinerated from the heat. But at least Wesker got payback for me in regards to Lewis letting me die earlier. Ah! It took us a while to learn this fight but once we sussed it all out we took Wesker down and then again with RPGs during the final cutscene to then pick up the lovely trophies for the chapter and for completing the game on Amateur. We still needed to collect two more emblems which we had missed in this first run but now we could purchase infinite ammo for the guns we'd fully upgraded which will help a lot and we could also purchase some of the figurines that we needed for a trophy later. Now we were on our veteran playthrough to unlock professional and this was a perfect opportunity to get some miscellaneous trophies out of the way. Yeah! Lead aspirin! I got it! Woohoo! Oh, defeat Magini with a headshot while it's jumping. Oh yeah! Yeah, ride the lightning. Woof. Nice defeat Magini using the electric current from a transformer. Thank God for that. 
Yeah, drive by. Got it. Woo! Yeah, die. Stop and I'm a driver. Take that driver. Lovely jubbly. Sheva and Chris both have a unique weapon each. I use Sheva's the longbow to get my next trophy. Oh, I should. Okay. Oh, what was I? <laughs> ah! Ah! 30 enemies with a longbow. Thank you, sir. Then, because Lewis kept getting wrecked, I picked up the lifeguard trophy next for saving him from the dying state 10 times. There you go. Yeah, lifeguard! Woo! <laughs> During my downtime, I played a bit of chapter select on my own to farm each different egg. Having all four in you at once will pop the trophy. <gasps> Gold egg, yes. Yeah, egg hunt. Oof, that was good luck. Find all four types of eggs. Boom. When we reached chapter five free again, it was time to get the Wesker and Jill trophies done. Sure, we could have just done it again in amateur, but veteran wasn't so bad. It's nothing like professional, so these were doable. Yeah, bad blood. Woohoo! Wait, what was that even for? Oh, damage him a set number of times. Ah, I didn't know there was a trophy for it, to be honest. Before we were just getting the treasure. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, masters are removing. Nice. Work together to save someone special. Then we finally got all the emblems. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Badge of honor. <laughs> Find all the PSAA emblems. Now we knew the tactics, West got on Veteran was no match for us, especially now we had infinite ammo on loads of guns. We picked up two trophies after beating the game on Veteran, and were also surprised to get an extra little gift alongside them. Trophies, trophies, trophies. Veteran. Oh yeah, all chapters on Veteran, and all chapters on Normal. Boom. Oh, infinite rocket launcher, because we sped run it. We speed ran it accidentally. Yes! GG! <laughs> nice! Now I could buy the final outfit that we've all been waiting for to get that trophy. Sheva Tribal, of course. Exchange. Yay! All dressed up. Nice. Purchase all available alternative costumes. And moving on, I went solo to quickly get the egg on your face trophy because I'd found a couple rare rotten eggs for our two playthroughs. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, egg on your face. Yay! Oh, well, that's probably one of the worst ones. Defeat him a genie with a rotten egg. Nice. Next is a really bizarre trophy that you need to get whilst playing solo. You need to build a bond with your partner by thanking them each time they heal or rescue you. I found a really good method online and it only took a few minutes. Then I quickly went back to chapter 5 1 to stab a liquor in the heart, which gave me another miscellaneous trophy. Yes, finally. Heart stopper stabbed him in the heart. Oof. Defeat a certain enemy, being a licker, by stabbing it in the heart. I missed this easy trophy earlier, so we went back to grab it. Yes, stop, drop, and roll. Finally. Thanks to Chris, knocking him into it. AI Chris OP. Free, free Magini at once by setting oil canisters on fire. Hey yeah. We had been farming each treasure for the trophy and now started our professional playthrough whilst grabbing the final treasure on the first level. Oh, that might be it. That's it, I think. Yeah! <laughs> they belong in a museum. Obtain all treasures in the game. Yes. Professional wasn't too bad. It was mostly the Wesker fights that were tough. Normal enemies were a doddle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get out of here. <laughs> my next trophy was earned when I'd bought every gun. I also needed to have every grenade in my stash as well. Oh, Grenada. Yes. Yeah, stockpile. Ah, oh, so you do need all the grenades. Yay! Obtain all available weapons. Next was probably the most difficult part of the entire game, the Jill and Wesker fight on Professional. This was absolutely outrageous, and I don't even think it's possible if you don't have a co-op partner. After 20-something attempts, we finally did it, which wasn't too bad. It takes some people over a hundred tries. Skipping forward to the final fight, and we'd finally beaten the game on Professional. Well, thank God for checkpoints, because I forgot about the quick time event the first time. Yeah, good job. Whee! Oh, we died. <laughs> <laughs> what? <sighs> oh, that's hilarious. I was back at it on solo because I needed to play as Chris to pull off a melee combo with the AI. This was the best method of this trophy anyway. Right, here we go. Hey -ya. And... Oh, the works. Whew. 
Take that, fatty. Chain the maximum number of combos together. Ah! <laughs> because the Gatling gun was a Chris only weapon, I murdered a bunch of spiders to get the Gatling gun trophy quickly. Ah! Oh, there we go, crowd control already. Yes! 30 enemies with the Gatling gun. Easy with these spiders. Oh, hand grenade. That's 250 bucks. Money, money, money. Back to the grind, and we eventually both S ranked every mission so we could buy the last figurine. Right, final figure. Wesker Rare. That makes sense. Come on, trophy! Yes, they're action figures. <laughs> uh, collect all figurines. Yes. They're action figures, ma'am. They're not toys. Now for the final grindy trophy before the Platinum, upgrading every single weapon to max. The method we used was to farm the first checkpoint in Chapter 5-1 over and over again, grabbing ourselves around 15,000 in cash every eight minutes or so. One. <gasps> yes! This is it. And boom! Oh, I mean, boom. <laughs> yes! Take it to the max! Completely upgrade all weapons. Resident Evil 5 Platinum Trophy! <laughs> creative uh, trophy name there. Thanks so much for watching guys. Sorry for messing up on Lewis's audio, but it will be sorted in the next co-op video. Check out some more videos and don't forget to hit like to help out the channel.